Welcome back to the Art of Ram, teaching the world how to skateboard. That's right, I'm Trog, we're at third layer. Tonight, we're talking about frontside 50-50 grinds. That's right, I was, in my mind I was like, what do I wanna do first? Do I wanna do frontside grinds or frontside 50-50? And then it hit me, we're doing frontside 50-50 because it just seems like that is the easier of the two tricks. So we wanna start there, but coming up um, later in the week, we're gonna be frontside grinding. So, Without further ado, let's get started here. So, starting us off, we're gonna start with a drop in, all right? That's your typical learning frontside trick, that's what it's gonna be, all right? Uh, next, we're gonna talk about foot plates. So, the foot plates went on this. It can be a multiple different things. You can be really heavy on the nose, you can be right over the bolts, you can be behind the bolts. The front side 50-50 is a pretty forgiving trick in the terms of foot placement. So, dropping in, a lot, a lot of times I like to have my front foot right here behind the four bolts. That gives me more power. Again, we're harnessing our power as we learn and progress and get better at skateboarding. So, being able to see the front four bolts, that's perfect for me, all right? So, next. As, that's where I'm going to set up my foot. The next thing is the angle of starting your front side 50-50s. Now, I would recommend taking a nice wide angle, almost a 45 degree angle when starting off. All right, so that means you're going to be coming at the ramp at an angle similar to this, all right? Uh, what you're going to do is keep your weight forward. Just like most tricks, when you're going forward, coming out forward, your weight is forward as you approach. Now it's gonna change when we're in the grind, but for right now, all we're talking about is getting up to the grind and weight forward. So, next thing I'm gonna do is what do my shoulders do as I come up on this 50-50? Well, if you don't know front side axle stalls yet, you better go back and learn those before you watch any more of this video. Say you have those mastered, however, as you go up, you're gonna bring your arm, it's gonna be in front of you like as if you're gonna pre-rotate for this as you go, get up on the ramp. You're gonna come up, and as you go up the, the quarter pipe, you're gonna start opening up your arm. You're gonna start looking forward on the coping where you're gonna go. And at this point, you're probably gonna be somewhere in this realm. All right, so what do we do when our front wheels get up to the metal? Well ride through it, all right? This is a five and a half foot ramp. In my mind, I'm thinking it's a six and a half foot ramp. I'm gonna lift up slightly, and I'm just gonna go until my back truck gets on. At that point, I'm start, my turn has already started a lot more, and now I'm fully twisted over, and essentially I'm having my shoulders perpendicular with the board and the coping. now locked in here and at this point I have put my front foot down into an axle stall and I'm twisted ready to go in all right so you're gonna try to get up and you're gonna be in, in your heel side groove if you don't have the groove yet it's coming don't worry you're gonna start your grind you're gonna push down that front truck. You're gonna get your 50-50. At this time, a couple things can happen. One, you can put a lot of toe, weight on your toes. You're gonna to level out onto the deck. You're gonna be rolling with your toe side wheels on the deck, and you're gonna be doing a light grind, all right? All right. The other way to do it is as you approach at this 45 degree angle we were talking about, lift up, lock in, lean back into the ramp, and now you're gonna be grinding at a more of a angled grind, all right? Now your body weight is gonna be also matching this sort of 45 degree angle. You're gonna be leaning back into the ramp while you're twisting. And again, these tricks as we progress are gonna get more and more difficult. Something like this more something I would do in a 90 degree corner. On a flat wall, I'm gonna probably be more like this, right on the edge, or if I'm going for a really long, fast one, my toes are gonna be on there, all right? 
yourself a couple things that sometimes happens as you're going up the ramp. You might miss that front truck groove and lock in. You might be a little offset on your grind. That's not a big problem here, all right? If you get there, one, you're gonna practice some bailout patterns, which we'll show. And what you're gonna do is just, you're gonna sort of adjust it with your hip, all right? So your hip can turn it out and back into the coping by just simply shuffling your hip a little bit, doing a little bit of a twist. All right, backing it up a little bit. Anything, this is just a pro tip to remind you guys, you want to go up and do a twist with your upper body and then turn the board. All right, so it's a twist, then turn. It's not a twist and turn at the same time. It's a twist, then turn, all right? So that's another pro tip there. Now you're gonna start with two, three foot grinds, all right? You're gonna come up, lock in, smash it down, lift up, go back in. All right, two, three foot grind. But one thing I gotta say about doing front side 50-50 grinds is where is your weight during the grind? Because I know this question is going to come up, so that's why we're going to talk about it right here. As I'm approaching, I was forward on the ramp. I start lifting up that front truck, and I'm going to naturally start leaning back onto the back truck. At this time, when you're actually up into this grind, your head and your weight is going to be actually on the back truck. You're going to be pushing the truck forward. If your weight is forward, you're going to get stuck on uh, uh, a sticky spot of coping, maybe a spur from a BMX peg, maybe a coping hole even. Any of that stuff will stop you if you have a lot of weight forward. So in the middle of the grind, we'll show some videos, the weight is going to be back on your, your, your head and your weight is going to be on the back foot. You're gonna be have your your back knee is gonna be bent, your front leg's gonna be straight, you're gonna be pushing, and at this point, again, your body is fully perpendicular, you're getting ready to come in, you're breathing out, and at that point, it's not an extreme lift-off, alright? It's not a huge lift-off to a front side grind to kick turn in. It's literally you're gonna you're gonna put a little bit of weight, or you're gonna you're gonna just lift the, the foot up a little bit, it might turn, but you're just gonna guide that front side kick turn right in. I'm gonna slow down some of these videos here for you. We actually filmed the, the clips last night and we're filming the audio today. And you're gonna see, um, I had Ben Vasky and Ian Levine helping me out, getting some clips. I love bringing my friends into this. I got Franco filming today, one of my good homies. And you only lift up so your wheels get over. That's the least you wanna to lift up. Just get your wheels back over and back into the ramp, all right? Coming into the ramp just like every other trick, weight forward, eyes forward. At this point, your, your lower half of your body is catching up to that perpendicular twist that you had, and now you're in, a, in alignment, your arm, your board, everything is aiming for whatever wall is in front of you. Here it's a bowl corner, and what I like to do is do a short front side 50-50, as you'll see in the video replay, grind there, come in, and then rip this corner as hard as I freaking can, and go for a 10, 12 footer all the way to the deep end, all right? That's one of my favorite lines. I don't know if we actually got that distance last night, but we definitely got some 10 footers out of this wall and it's a super rad trick. So that's the front side 50-50. I know that was a rambler for you guys and there's a bunch of clips that were in this one. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy these videos and front side grinds coming next. So hold on, ram it down.